I'm going to put up my Christmas tree. I was going to wait until Thanksgiving Day because I'm going to be by myself on Thanksgiving this year. My children are going to be out of town. And I do have a couple other family members I could go to for dinner that day. But I honestly, truth be told, I'm, I'm looking forward to being by myself that day. <laughs> I know that probably sounds kind of weird, but uh, oddly... I very much enjoy being by myself. So, and you know, Thanksgiving, I enjoy Thanksgiving because normally I'm with my children and my grandchildren that day, but they're all going to be out of town and I don't feel like traveling, driving to uh, anyone else's house that day. I don't have anyone that's like super close to me and I just don't want to travel that day. So, I'm going to cook myself a Cornish game hen and make some mashed potatoes and gravy and, you know, a couple of the things that I love to have for Thanksgiving, like fruit salad. Nobody makes fruit salad anymore. My kids hate fruit salad and I can't figure it out because I love fruit salad and they always had fruit salad. We, I always made that on Thanksgiving, but apparently they never liked it. So, but the good news is I get the whole dang thing to myself. <laughs> so, you know, you got to look at the bright side, right? But anyway, I was going to spend that day decorating my tree. I thought that would be a fun thing to do. But it turns out I can't wait. So I'm going to do it today. <laughs> Honestly, um, this is the first year in quite a few years that I've had a Christmas tree. I have not been able to put one up for quite a few years because of my cat. He always ate them. <laughs> real or artificial he didn't care he he uh yeah so <laughs> I get after the first year that I had him and you know I had my tree up and I couldn't keep him away from it I just couldn't believe it I've never had a cat that would do that you know they other cats I've had they'd try to play with the Christmas ornaments and stuff he never cared about that but he did like to eat them <laughs> It's the goofiest thing. But um, sadly, I had to have him put down this past week. And wow, <laughs> anybody that's had to do that knows how brutal that is. It is just awful. It is just awful. And I don't envy anyone that has to do that. I've this is not the first time I've had to do it, and I knew, I just, I hate it. But he was sick, and he was in pain. It was the right thing to do, but it doesn't make it any easier. But anyway, I um, <clears throat> consoled myself with, I knew I'd be able, at least I could get a Christmas tree this year. So, you know, I, yeah. So anyway... Look on the bright side, getting a Christmas tree. So I thought uh, I might bring you along while I decorate my tree. I'm going to do a themed tree this year. And I, you know, not only do I live in a mobile home, but uh, quite a few, well, gosh, it's been about 10 years now. Um, I had a vintage trailer that I had redone. And, oh, my gosh, it was the cutest thing. It was really, really my pride and joy. I had more fun doing that project but I couldn't keep it because when I moved out here, I didn't have any place to store it. And where I live, it rains a lot. And leaving them sitting outside is not good for them, especially an older one like that. You know, um, I, if I would have had the place to keep it under cover, I could have kept it at a friend's house. But, you know, that's an awfully big imposition. And, and even though they offered, I, I just... Yeah, I didn't want to just, just didn't want to do that. So uh, I sold it to a good home. <laughs> and uh, but anyway, so I've always had a love for vintage trailers. And so I thought that might be kind of a fun theme this year. So we'll see how it turns out. I want to do, a, I don't want it to look tacky. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish that, but we'll see how this goes. But anyway, I thought you might like to come along for that little journey. <laughs> so let's see what we can do. <laughs>
okay, I'm ready to start putting the ornaments and everything on my tree. I've got the lights on and the topper, which is a really pretty angel made of lace. I um, What I've come up with this year, so I couldn't find my Christmas ornaments anywhere. I've got, of course, a great big container of some really pretty ornaments, and I can't find them. And I think I loaned them to somebody a year or two ago. Well, probably more than, it's probably been longer than that because <laughs> it's been several years since I could have a tree. So I believe I loaned those ornaments out and I don't think I got them back, but it doesn't matter. I would, I'm going to, was going to do something different this year anyway. So, uh, you may have noticed in my previous videos, I have a lot of black and white Buffalo check stuff in my house. So I found these really cute little bows at the Dollar Tree <laughs> and I thought I would, they come in a card of six. So I bought a few of those and I thought those would look really cute on the tree. And since I'm doing the vintage trailer theme this year, I also got these darling little trailers. I'll kind of do a little close up so you can see they're sparkly. They've got glitter on them, which for me is I love 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 the glitter <laughs> so these are I just thought they were really cute and I bought probably way too many um <laughs> I bought 24 so between the bows and the vintage trailer trailers and then I got this container of silver ornaments at Walmart this morning they've got some <gasps> oops the oh, whole was close they've got some glittery ones and couple different varieties in there. I thought those would make a nice addition complement to the bows and the trailers if I need end up needing more. So this tree is actually a six foot tree even though it's kind of it's very slender. I mean truth be told it's not exactly the top of the line. <laughs> it was a $30 tree. That's all I could afford. So that's what I got. I was actually going to buy a, a four foot tree, but the four foot tree was more expensive than the six foot tree. So I thought six foot it is. I'll just get the six foot tree. <laughs> and you know, obviously, like I said, it's not the top of the line and it's Certainly, by no stretch of the imagination, is it the world's most beautiful tree. However, it is very adequate for my needs. I'm totally fine with it. I think it's super cute. I love it. And so this is the tree I've got. And it's so funny because, you know, I live in Washington State. And the town I live in, uh, their motto is Home of the Tree Farm. Um, <laughs> I'm right in the heart of logging country and Western Washington state has beautiful, beautiful forests, evergreen forests here and not even, oh, maybe a mile up the road for me is a Christmas tree farm, <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to go get a fresh tree because for one thing, there's still a month until Christmas and you know, they, as beautiful as they are, they make a big mess and I don't want to deal with it. And I don't want to worry about it drying out and being a fire hazard. I live in a mobile home and you know what they say about that. Yeah. So I'm just going to go with the artificial tree this year. And I've got, a. unfortunately you can't smell it, but I have a lovely uh, evergreen scented wax melt in my burners so it smells like heaven in here I absolutely love that scent so if you were here you would smell the beautiful trees <laughs> even though it's not really the tree but anyway let's get to decorating this tree and hopefully it'll turn out good
I think it's about done. I just wanted to be, to keep it simple. I just want the trailers and the bows. And of course, after I stop filming for the night, I'll look this tree over and move these ornaments around probably 20 times before Christmas. <laughs> well, not 20, but you know what I mean. You know, you stand back and you look and rearrange and but I uh, think I like it. It's just very simple. I don't do tinsel. My mom always did tinsel when we were kids. And I think I've used tinsel on my Christmas tree maybe once as an adult. I know I did at least once. I even know what year it was. <laughs> it was 1982. <laughs> and... um yeah, our dog kept trying to eat it. So that was the last year I used tinsel. But uh, it just, I don't know. I just kind of like this simple look of the trailers and the bows, which, you know, go along with the rest of the, a lot of the decor in my home. So that's the tree for now. I hope you like it. Now here's the fireplace, how I've got it decorated so far. This is by no means finished. I have, I, I still want to put my garland up, my green garland. I've got the wooden bead one that I always have up. I'm going to go ahead and leave that up. But I've got these cute little Christmas ornament, the string of Christmas lights that I got this. It's just a delicate little Thing, but I got that at Walmart last year. They have a, a section in their Christmas decor aisle that's all the miniature stuff. And um, I saw that there and I just thought it was so cool. I made that last year. I just, you know, bought the wood piece at the Dollar Tree and then I painted it and added glitter. Of course, you know how I love my glitter. <laughs> And these really cute tags, I got these at uh, the local gift shop. There's a really, I know I've mentioned it before, there's a really neat gift shop in my little hometown. It's actually in the drugstore, and it is amazing. They have the most beautiful things in there, and the girls that work in there are just awesome. They're so good to me, so... Little shout out to Natalie and Patty. Yeah, there's that. And Renee. And I'm totally drawing a blank. I've got Derek, my pal Derek, that works back in the pharmacy part. Yeah, those, they're just wonderful people, but. I have many things in my home that have been purchased at that little gift shop. I like, I love the nativity stuff and I have a beautiful nativity scene I'll be setting up here later that was my mother's that she gave to me. So, but we're just going to do this in stages because it is still a little early in the season. <laughs> Okay, I've decided that this tree needs a little something extra. I, It's hard to see because it's daylight, and so it's very bright. But I just feel like it needs a little something extra, a little little more sparkle, I guess. So I got went to Walmart this morning, and I got this beautiful ribbon. It's, as you can see, hopefully, it's silver and sparkly. So I thought I'd try wrapping it around. I, I'm not a big garland fan. I don't like that tinselly gar garland stuff. So I thought I'd give this a try. So let's see how it, let's see how it looks. If I don't like it, I can always take it back off. So let's see how this goes.
Okay, so now we have the finished product. The ribbon is on. I'm very pleased with how that turned out. So I wanted to show you this little cute little plaque I got. It's just from the dollar store, but I thought it was cute and kind of appropriate with the trailer on it. But that ribbon really... I'm surprised at how much I like it. <laughs> no, I, I think it looks really good. It's very glittery. So as you can see, it's really picking up the lights. Very beautiful. Anyway, that's it. I think it's, I think I'm satisfied with it now. So I'm going to leave it be. <laughs> anyway, that is my Christmas tree decorating video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very, very much.